Hi and welcome to Themico. Welcome to the first video of the course, Simulation of a Mechatronic Machine. Let me tell you that this is a fantastic topic to those people interested in simulating machines even before these are physically manufactured. And of course, to verify the operational capabilities of those machines already in use. How cool does that sound? The objective of this video is to give you the first ideas on what seems to be very complicated wording. Computational dynamics. After watching this video, we expect you to know what computational dynamics is and its importance in the simulation of mechatronic machines. Let me tell you that this is going to be one of the courses that is going to raise your interest in simulation tools to a new level. To start with, we need to define what a mechatronic machine is. And in any case, we can have many definitions of what it is, but we need to agree on one and work with this definition. If we look at the name, we'll see that the word mechatronics might come out of a combination of mechanical systems and electronics. And that's right, that is basically it. However, it might also include some hydraulics or pneumatics, just to mention some other fields. So you see, it is a conglomerate of fields acting together to provide an answer to a specific problem that needs to be solved, and this is the beauty of these apparently complex systems. As you may imagine, when combining different fields of expertise into one machine, it also means that there is a mix of science and knowledge to apply if we wanted to design such systems. And it also looks like we need some special tools to make our life easier when approaching the design of these machines. Here is where computational dynamics comes into play. I know you might have been wondering why you need to know about computational dynamics and how is it related to the simulation of a mechatronic machine. Well, we need a tool set such as computational dynamics to design mechatronic machines. It is not the only existing tool, but it is one of the most used tools. Computational dynamics is a discipline that uses computational methods to study the mechanical phenomena in a machine. In computational dynamics, you can find three main foundational stones. Mechanics, of course, mathematics, and computer science. We need to be aware that getting immersed in the study of machines via computational dynamics involves knowledge from at least three different fields and we need to be diligent when approaching them and respecting the rules each one requires. It sounds painful, but it is definitely a satisfactory process that allows you to explore many design options through simulations without leaving your computer or manufacturing the real machine. Imagine being able to simulate vehicle crashes or train behavior while on faulty rail tracks. Robots, biomechanics, you name it. Successful design of these complex systems would be an extremely difficult task using the conventional analytical methods. This is why we are very excited to use computational dynamics in this course. We can simulate the physical machine close to the real conditions on our own laptop. Imagine that you are an engineer in charge of validating the performance of a physical machine which has been causing some problems or whose operation philosophy needs to be changed. You get to use computational dynamics to investigate the details of its operation. You can propose, for example, what-if scenarios to see if the machine meets the expectations or if it would resist the new conditions. You could model its reliability and life expectancy. Again, the possibilities are endless. It is just limited by your imagination. I hope you got a good idea of the relations between the two terms, simulation of a mechatronic machine and computational dynamics. Keep in mind that the more complex the topic seems to be, the more ways there are of tackling them and having fun at the same time. Just do the best that you can and be enthusiastic about this exciting world that you are stepping into. In our next video, we will continue with our introduction to the topic and little by little we will be designing our mechatronics machine. But remember that first, we need to be able to handle ourselves in the trilogy that represents computational dynamics. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.